Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to maximize the volume of a sphere within a cone. So here I've drawn a cone and a sphere inside of it, and this is a side view, and I'm denoting these respective points with letters. So this is point A, and in the center of the sphere is point E, this top part is B, then this corner is C, and the point at which the surface of the sphere and the side of the cone touches D. And I'm going to define certain lengths to make the equation appear easier. So this distance from A to B is the height of the cone, which I'll denote as H. And of course, so I have AB is equal to H. And of course, I have the length DE, which is going to be equal to the radius of the sphere, R. And finally, I'm going to call half of the base of the cone, BC, I'm going to call that L. So the equation that one ultimately derives for the sphere that's maximized inside of the cone will depend on these two variables, H and L. So I can relate these three lengths in the following fashion. The radius of my sphere that will maximize its volume inside of the cone is going to be equal to h times l divided by the square root of l squared plus h squared plus l. So if I consider a length h equal to length l equal to 1 meter, so in this scenario, I'm dealing with a right cone, meaning that this angle is 90 degrees. Then I find that the radius of my maximum sphere inside of my right cone is going to be equal to 1 meter times 1 meter. It's just 1 meter squared at the top, divided by the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared which is the square root of 2, plus 1 meter. My meter square cancels out with meters, and I'm left with 1 over the square root 2 plus 1 meters. And this is approximately equal to 0 0.414 meters. So for a right cone with a height equal to 1 meter, I will end up with a radius of approximately 0.414 meters. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is the volume of a sphere inside of a cone.